My name is Lisa, and my dad owned the Reno nightclub in Manchester. He'd lived in Nigeria his whole life. He knew where he was. There wasn't the scope to do anything. But he had a vision from being really young that he wanted to do more. And he thought the opportunities to go on a ship and try and make his way here. He was looking at the premises of the Reno, and opposite there was a big pub on the corner with glittering lights. He went into the pub and asked for a Guinness, and the barman said, we don't serve monkeys in here. And he pointed to a large wooden barrel at the side of the bar that was people were throwing dead ends of the pints in. And he said to my dad, monkeys drink out of there. But I said, one day I will have a bar. I will remind you of this. Many years later, he managed to get a liquor license, opened the Reno. The owner of the pub on the corner came over and he was like, yeah, can I get a red stripe? So my dad said, you don't remember me? So he said, no, I've never met you. So he said, yeah, I came in your place, asked for a drink. This is what you've told me. He said, and the man was really embarrassed and said, I'm so sorry, it's wrong, can you forgive me? And my dad said, yes, everybody's entitled to make a mistake. I think the Reno was a great destination for everyone because it was a safe place. It was inclusive for all. I suppose mainly it was black, but there was a really nice mix of a lot of white women and then obviously a lot of mixed culture coming from the marriages of black men with white women. And other places you would go, I think they would be ridiculed, be made to feel uncomfortable, whereas anybody who went down there would have a good time and would feel welcome. My dad had previously gone to Montreal to see Muhammad Ali fight. A year, maybe 18 months later, Muhammad Ali came to Manchester, England, and came to the club and brought him a gift, which was a gold boxing glove that Muhammad Ali had received for his one of his fights. Them days, the police was very um, harassing. It was very harassing to people and very aggressive with black people. They're not like they was today. The rioting in Moss Side was brief, but such was the legacy of tension and bitterness left after just two nights of disorder that Greater Manchester Council decided a speedy inquiry was essential if peace was to be restored to the community. It wasn't long after that that they forced my dad to close the Reno. They made an excuse of there was extending Princess Road, which fair enough, granted, they can say they've extended it. How I don't, I don't know how many metres. It wasn't necessary. Music is a, a stress reliever for everybody. So, yeah, to take away venues where music's being played and black people was able to relax and let go of all the worries what the race was, was causing, is going to then cause a lot more tension. So this is a spot where the Reno used to be. It's hard to believe because it's just wasteland now with a billboard which has been like this for many years since. I think my dad was quite upset to see it demolished. It was his legacy. He did build a really good vision that was everything he wanted it to be. And I think everybody else enjoyed what he created. I certainly did and I'm really proud of him.